Sri Lanka is to have a new leader for the first time in nearly a decade. Mahinda Rajapaksa has conceded defeat in the presidential election. He was being closely challenged by the former health minister, Maithripala Sirisena. Well, 69-year-old Rajapaksa was first elected as president in 2005. He's credited with ending the country's 26-year civil war after defeating the Tamil Tiger rebels in 2009. He changed the constitution in 2010 to allow him to run for an unprecedented third term. Let's go straight to Charles Stratford. He joins us live from Colombo. Charles, uh, a comprehensive defeat for Mahinda Rajapaksa. Uh, how have people there been reacting, Charles? Well, it's still quite early in the morning here, Darren, but uh, the general feeling is one of surprise. Um, we're hearing of celebrations that have been starting in some of the neighbourhoods. We heard firecrackers earlier, just speaking to passers-by. There generally seems to be a sense of relief here, certainly relief that the elections have passed peacefully, um, and, a, and a sense of relief in terms of a new era beginning in Sri Lankan politics. Um, we're getting some statistics through as well. In the last hour, the Election Commission has told us that uh, up until this stage, although the vote counting is still going on, Mr Rajak Paksa has around 46.7% of the vote and Mr Sirisena at around 52% uh, of the vote. We also hear that the President is still... Uh, sorry, Mr Rajak Paksa is still in the Presidential Secretariat. We hear that a number of his uh, parliamentarians have been joining him. Not an unusually high security presence down there. We also hear that Mr Sirisena has left his uh, constituency in the north central area of Sri Lanka and is coming down to Colombo. But yes, uh, a general sense of relief, I think, that these elections have passed off peacefully. A massive voter turnout. 75% uh, of the 15 million, approximately 15 million people who are eligible to vote did do that. Um, and it seems a, a fairly convincing win for Mr Sirisena. Um, so, Mr. Sirisena is set to be sworn in uh, as the new president, Charlie. What happens now and what are his main challenges? Well, he obviously has a lot of challenges ahead um, after almost 10 years of uh, Mr. Rajapaksa's rule here. He's brought together a fairly motley crew, if you like, of uh, coalition parties, including. Uh, the Tamils, the, uh, the Muslim parties, also uh, some nationals groups, people who uh, wouldn't traditionally stand together with some of those other parties. But he set together a manifesto, a 100-day manifesto, that really focuses on abolishing the presidential ex executive powers. These were the, the powers that gave Mr Rajapaksa an ability to be able to choose uh, judges, have great sway over the judicial process here, also choosing uh, military chiefs and, and, and police chiefs. Um, that focus on getting rid of that executive power within those hundred days um, is the big challenge. He's also spoken about realigning the country's relationship with China. He's promised to uh, launch an investigation into uh, the relationship of this country and how some of these massive loans, how this economy has really, uh, really uh, expanded in so uh, quick a period of time with all that Chinese money because, of course, his entire election campaign, Mr Sirisena's election campaign, really focused on corruption, lack of transparency and uh, what he described as an autocratic rule here. All right, so Charles Stratford there in Colombo. Charles, thank you.